All right, hi everybody. We're gonna do an exercise index video today for your triceps. Um, I actually learned these from powerlifters many, many years ago. And uh, it's a lying extension, but we're doing them lying on the floor. And I'm actually gonna do a rest pause technique. So I'm actually gonna set the dumbbell down. Now what I want you to watch is watch my elbows, okay? The higher you can get your humerus up, that's your upper arm bone, the more it stretches the long head of your tricep, that's the inner part. So you're gonna see me getting a really good stretch. In fact, you'll see me taking the dumbbell to where it even touches my shoulder. So I'm fully stretching the muscle out. And then watch as I come up. I'm not coming all the way up. I'm keeping it kind of behind me a little bit. You'll see the angle, that's keeping tension on your tricep. You can do this with dumbbells or kettlebells. So we're just gonna do both today. I'm gonna to start with a dumbbell. I got 30s here. So now, see where I'm starting? I'm not starting here. I already got tension on my tricep right here. Now I'm coming down, I'll see how I point my elbows up and I fold the dumbbell back to my shoulder. I pause it and drive it up. Pause. You don't have to pause. I just kind of like that. Again, I'm not kicking up to here. I'm keeping tension on my tricep right there. Good stretch. Elbows up, pause. Just like that. Okay, that's dumbbells. <clears throat> All right, so Lauren's going to do a set now with dumbbells before I do the kettlebells. Now fold those dumbbells all the way back to your shoulders. Bring them in. There, see that stretch? Now watch, she's coming up to here. She's not coming all the way, right there. Now look how she's got her humerus, this bone. See how it's pointed straight up? That means she's getting a great stretch because her elbow's pointed up. Now we already did triceps, so watch her triceps are shaking. She's doing a little bonus work. That's good, good job. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do them with kettlebell. So let me do, let me do 30s. All right, so now we're gonna try them with kettlebells. It's the same form. This is a little bit easier than a dumbbell because they hit the ground first. Now, you may have seen me do these lying on a bench. And when that's the case, I like to use kettlebells. But when you're lying on the floor, I prefer dumbbells, but this is still a great variation. I can tell you right now, my triceps are on fire. They're burning, these feel excellent. So you can do either way. Or you can mix it up. You can do two one way and two the other way. Oh, that's it. Whew. Whew. <clears throat> All right. Now, just to give you an idea of how strong I've seen or how much weight I've seen people doing these, when I trained at the old powerlifting gym at Westside Barbell, there were guys that used 100 pound dumbbells doing those. Those were world record bench pressers. I think I can do 40. So that's it. I hope you like that variation. So for Lauren and myself, Thank you. Try this, comment below, and let us know what you think. And a quick note here, as always, with a lying extension, exercise sequence is important. Do these toward the very end of your tricep workout. You wanna have really warmed up elbows. This is an exercise that can be very hard on your elbows. But if you use a smart sequence and you do these last, your elbows will feel fine and you'll, the stress will go in your triceps much, much better. So remember that. Thank you.